What's going on guys, me David Digger Films are back with another episode of NHL 16. Today we're going to be playing against the Toronto Maple Leafs as Bergeron starts us off with a face-off win. And, you know, at the beginning of the season I thought this team was going to suck. And I was perfectly correct. Um, <laughs> in real life at least. Uh, in this game, they're, they're actually not that bad. I have no idea why. Like, they lost Phil Kessel. Like, their team should be absolute trash. But, I'm going to say this. Actually, no, I can't say this because I actually forget what happens because I made this so long ago, but, you know, whatever. Um, <laughs> so we start off with a power play here. I have absolutely no idea what for. So uh, I'll just take it, right? So we got to you know, we gotta get going like how they did in real life on the power play, which, by the way, was the best in the league. I, you know, I don't want to brag or anything, but, you know, it's pretty good power plays. Right here we circle around with Ryan Spooner trying to find anyone that will get open. A pass back to Krejci, over to Chara, over to McQuaid, up to someone. I could not see their number. And after all that, we turn the puck over, and they just flip it down the ice. And that wasted a lot of seconds without a shot. McQuaid recovers, pass up to Bergeron. Bergeron skates up the ice, fires a shot, but breaks his stick. And I'm like, that's, that's exactly my luck. Like, I, I don't get it. I freaking hate it, man. As we recover it right here. Pass it from Char to David Kadechi. Up to Bergeron. And Bergeron sneaks through. Fires a bomb. But does not go in. And that is a nice save. As now they're trying to regroup. Uh, getting their attack situated. As right here we're trying to chase. Now Bergeron trying to tip the puck away. And it just got really dark. Uh, I or low. I or L. Ah, I cannot speak. Um, yeah, the, the cloud just went over to the sun. Literally. Um, anyway, right here, Chris Kelly skating down the ice, and, you know, uh, you know, I, I, I don't know, I don't know what I'm saying. I was trying to make a joke about his femur getting broken, but I could not come up with one. It's, it's pretty harsh. Oh, my God, right there. They keep it in the zone, but do they, though? No, they don't. Illuminati confirmed. It looked like they got out, but it did it. It's right there. A shot from Hayes does not go, and, you know, Hayes has been playing like trash, and I'm honestly considering trading him. Uh, I am like nine games ahead of this game in real life that I've been playing. Um, obviously, I've recorded every single one of them, but like I, I still have Hayes, and I'm really considering it right now, getting rid of Hayes. Uh, but the thing is, I don't know who, like who I would get Hayes for. Try to leave a suggestion in the comment section below. Uh, any NHLer that would fit the Bruin style. All I want is a big guy. Uh, just on that line with um, Spooner and Pasternak. Even though that's not like it right now, I did right now IRL. IRL do it, but right there, holy crap, that was Max Talbot with a goal. And <laughs> I'm gonna say, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll just wait, I'll just wait. I'm not gonna say anything. Um, is Max Talbot on the team or is he not? Find out in like nine episodes. Um, right here, nice. Ooh, wow, that was a little cheeky, as what the British say from freaking Seidenberg again. <gasps> right through his legs and right on the freaking uh, goal line and I'm like come on man like that that's oh my gosh look at look at the shots look at the there's just shots everywhere I'm very happy with uh, what Brett Connolly is doing he he and Zach Ronaldo are just playing so well it's just they're not finishing and scoring <laughs> there yet yeah, their stats don't speak for it but I really do think they are the underrated factor of this team is right now we're skiing up with Ryan Spooner who, you know, like Hayes, has not done much. It's right there. We put a freaking ripper from Brett Connolly, but that does not go in. Um, yeah, Spooner, I, I don't know how I feel about Spooner. He can be so good at times, and other times he can just be so freaking bad in this know. game and in real life. As right here, it's Bolesky and a just passing mess. Uh, two minutes left to go in the period. They poked the, the puck away from... Uh, whoever that was, pass it up to Patrice Bergeron. He's got Pashnok on his right side. Pashnok scoops around, but Bergeron is trying to look for a pass. He still looks for a pass, and that almost went in, but Pashnok overskated the goal. He did not get everything on the shot. It's right there. He just gets destroyed by a huge check. And now we're going up to protect, um, protect him, you know, get a little bit of revenge. We're going to hit harder than they hit us. And right there, nice save by Rask. There's no defenseman in front. Uh, because my play style in this game, because I'm such a noob. Again, this is my first NHL ever. Um, yeah, my play style is just grab a defenseman and go. All right, get ready for period at number two. I had to take a quick break right there as we... Uh, crap, I actually... <laughs> I didn't pay attention to what just happened. So, um, I increased the size of the box, so I should be able to see 
everyone's names a little bit better as right here David Pasternak oh man he put on the Jets and almost got by uh, whoever that was I still can't see Kadri up to loophole I can barely freaking see their name hold on I need to like lay down on my stomach I'm like on my bed right now with my laptop and my charger oh my god all right gotta get situated is the mic good the mic is good uh right there is that FNUF to loophole am I seeing things correctly no Dion FNUF is an offense but I'm retarded um right there oh man what a shot uh, we get it with Marsh, and we're trying to skate up the ice, and we have just absolutely no one there for the pass. So we just skate around the backside. Marshawn's still looking for a pass. Marshawn tries to put it up to whoever that was, but it is uh, blocked. And now Vekameshagov and to loop. Well, back to Kadri, and um, I, you, like, you like this play by the way commentary. I can actually now freaking see. Um, right here, we skate up with the kid. Posh knock again. He loops around trying to find something, and he almost got killed. Jimmy Hayes on the rebound, but was unable to bury it. And again, Jimmy Hayes has just not been playing good. Any any suggestions for a, I want a power forward, like sort of like Milan Lucic, Milan Lucic, uh, you know, just something. I need I need a guy that will beat the crap out of you and then score at the exact same time. Uh, I wish the Bruins didn't get rid of Lucic so badly. Oh my God. The identity of this team was beat the crap out of you and score as right there they score uh, to tie the game up. But, you know, he just sort of went away from that with guys like uh, Spooner. It's like Spooner doesn't fight, Pasternak doesn't fight. Uh, Brett Connell, does Brett Connell, I don't know. I He seems like, may, maybe, okay, maybe he does fight, I don't know. Um, Max Talbot, you know, I don't really see him fight at all. It's normally just... Uh, Adam McQuaid, Chara, and, uh, uh, God, what's the guy's name? Kevin Miller. And Marshawn gets a lot of fights started, but, like, I, I need a power forward that, like, Lou Cheech would just kill you the entire game, just over and over again, punch you in the face and score, and I just don't have that. As ready, we get a nice little breakaway with Brett Connolly as he tries to bury it. Again, uh, just playing so good. Might as well call him the Un-Undertaker because he cannot freaking bury the puck, man. We try to step up with Adam McQuaid. That does not work. Uh, they're trying to skate down the middle of the ice. That is middle of the ice. Oh, my God. And that is stolen by Adam McQuaid. But this is a huge mistake by the Bruins. Line changes when they have the puck. And that's just sort of annoying. There's nothing I can do about that. That is right there. P.A. Parento, the former Montreal Canadian. Um scores right through the five hole and i'm like you've got to be kidding me rask that was like the easiest one to save or maybe it wasn't because he was he was high slot maybe it wasn't um anyway right here uh the pass received by jimmy hayes as he tries to fire one and he can't even hit the freaking goal it's annoying um oh another fighter is not eric i mean another non-fighter is erickson like, erickson is pure skill man he is the quiet guy that no one pays attention to but then destroys you the whole game um yeah, there's just so much destroying throughout the whole game. Uh, right here, he tries to circle around, trying to get his forehand. He does a little nice swing around shot, but that is saved by uh, Bernier. Bernier. Oh, I almost just said something stupid. That is not Vekin Chepenjov. I was thinking of someone else. That is Van's Reem. Van Reem's like, I forgot about him, sort of. Um, I don't know how, because he's like the only offenseman this team has besides Lupul and um, uh, uh, Fnuff. But both of them are not even good in any way. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this team is pretty bad. They're like the... Oh, God, if I can compare them to something. This Van Reem's like a pass. And, oh, my God, he got two shots off right there. Lupul trying to bury it. Oh, that was freaking flustered. Flustering at the end. Um, uh, well, God, what was I just saying? I, I forget. <laughs> Seriously, I don't I don't have a, like ADHD, whatever that is. I don't even know what that is, but... I'm, I'm just not processing my thoughts. It's been a long day at school. I'll just say that. Lupul, uh, Kadri, and Van Reem just like are all on the same line. That's their main line. It's like their Bergeron more. Oh, I was off sides. Oh, I tried to go for the slapper and start a fight, but did not work. As right here, Erickson makes a bad turnover, and you know, there's nothing I can really do about that. If they're going to know my move before I know my move, it's, you know, Props to them. I don't know. I've never said props in my life. I don't know why I just said that right now. Oh, I haven't taken a breath in forever. Right here, a bomb. Oh, my God. Jimmy Hayes could not get the rebound. The goalie was looking the entire other way, and that is so frustrating, man. Like, you got to you gotta 
do the things that need to win and score and do. Um, right here, pass up to Erickson by Tory Crew. Right up the middle, Erickson trying to look for a pass. He gets a backhand off, but that is saved by Bernier. Bernier. <laughs> I did it again. I'm so freaking sorry. Right here. Oh, we're trying to go across the front of the goal. And that is a way to score in, I think, every single NHL. You just go right across the front. As it's still right there. And a bomb by Chara. We score. Oh, my God. Chara. He hits the guy. Takes the puck. Skates up. Fires a rocket. I mean, a freaking rocket. Like, NASA's got nothing on him for creating rockets. And... It was that was a nice goal by Chara right there. As now Chara up to Bergeron, we're trying to score and we get bumped off the puck. We're continuing, uh, continuing to getting, continued to get pushed. Uh, Kadri up to Lupul that is taken, that is hit by McQuaid, taken by McQuaid, passed up to Pasternak, trying to look for a pass over to Brad Marchand who crashes into the net. That does not happen. Kevin Miller right there off the face off trying to get something going. Right there, a freaking slap shot, but it does not work. We're trying to set up these point shots as Kevin Miller completely whiffs on it right here. Irwin is back a two-on-one situation, sort of, but we uh, recover with Miller and drive him into the corner. But they still get a shot off somehow. Pass back up to the point to Riley. and that's a Matthews or something? I don't know. And we simply iced the puck to stop the rush. Yeah, I didn't really try that, though. So I'm just going to try to say that I didn't try that so I don't look like an idiot. Right there, Parento misses the net. And, you know, P.A. Oh, man, right there is a guy that I could get on this team. P.A. Parento. Oh, like. Oh, man. I just. I, that was. P.A. Parento. Yeah, that would be sort of awesome, though. He, he was a Montreal Canadian. I don't think that's ever going to happen. Right there, Irwin tries to get a stick on the pass. He does. But not uh, completely, and uh, they still got a shot. But right here, we skate up with David Krejci on the rebound. We fire a shot, and Hayes again cannot get the puck. And I just need puck possession, and you know you need the puck to score, right? Unless you're stupid, and then they skate it in your own goal. Right there, he takes forever on the wrist shot. They're trying to look for that cross crease one time, or and we're just shutting that down as Krejci skates right up the ice right here. Fires a bomb, and we score with David. Krejci with 423 left to go in the game. David Krejci with an absolute... I, I, I can't describe this to you. It was a freaking laser as Marshawn gets killed in the corner. And that was a terrible pass as their offensemen are trying to set up the forecheck. And that is going to go down for an icing. And I mean, what a bomb from David Krejci. He started off the season so good for the Bruins as it's Lupul back to Van Riemsdyk and we shut that down with Tuka Rask. He had me completely beat and guessing as Rask passes out to Erickson. Erickson up to Krejci trying to get something going again. Ooh, you know, we did a little bit of that pullback, that little snapshot, but I mean, it's not going to happen. It was right here. We're trying to recover with Patrice Bergeron, trying to find something, and we just shoot it because they were all over me. I was trying to skate around and look for a pass. As we fire a backhand with Marshawn, it tips off of Bergeron's stick, and we score with 54 seconds left. They pull their goalie, and guys, that goal right there is pretty much just going to clinch this game as we skate up, but they do block that shot right there. We need just one more goal. They still can win as we're trying to get it with Erickson who just freaking whiffs on everything. That was a little annoying. They have six guys, six uh, uh, skaters on the ice. A goalie doesn't really count as a skater. Um, right there, they're trying to fire a shot. We get it with Zidane Char. We skated up to Hayes who fires and misses the net and I'm like, you've got to be kidding me right here we tried to oh my god we missed the one timer with Erickson Erickson is not playing good right now we just need to bury it with 10 seconds low to go and I just said low to, I just combined the two right there uh, 41 completely misses the shot we're gonna skate it up with Adam McQuaid and we're just gonna shoot it down the ice but it is icing with 0 0.7 seconds left that's gonna finish off the game guys comment subscribe to your veggies go to school Nick our films out peace